hands beside me, wayfarer, and charge thy cup with pain. And for thy company with all I'll sing for thee out. How the greatest night of all was stricken and laid low by a single peasant armed only with a only with a Twas Beltane behind him on the sun was sinking low. To Kent he rode upon such winds as he may never have The finest mail upon his back, a seasoned fighting man. He came upon a winding bridge crossed by a narrow span. By a narrow span. Upon that bridge there stood a boy who walked the great knight's way. In wonder meant this errant knight who walked this lad. Turn back, sir knight, seek other ways, wherever they may lie. You may not pass, and if you try me, you will surely die. You will surely die. No churlish knave, the knight replied, thy wife I would not have. And I would spare thee, foolish boy, for thou art busy. A squire I would make of thee to take up sword and shield, and thou wilt not then say thy prayers, for thou wilt die or yield. Thou wilt die or yield. I serve no man, the rogue replied. I am and will stay free. But good night, that ne'er a soul has ever rested. To serve the lady of this wood. Is my thought and deed this stout long bow and but one shaft are all that I shall all that I shall Then on myself the night replied, but sure to no avail, for shaft nor bolt was never made that will pierce this He brandished sword and spurred his steed, his shield was battle dressed. The knave let fly and found his mark full upon the post, full upon the post. Up on that bridge in dark of night, a man with a start. The knight reached down with a split shaft and pierced him to the heart. His mail was rent and yet no wound. Appeared upon his flesh, though Eldritch Star remained still, and we spoke the woodsman's jest. We spoke the woodsman's jest. The shaft was gone, but he was gone, but not his shaft that he had left behind. And yet his parting words remained still in the night. I have bested thee, Sir Knight. And killed thee right and clean. Remember when thou set thine eyes upon King Arthur's queen. King Arthur's queen. No other knight in all the land could match him on the field. No stronger all throughout the land of great rocks. Yet against a stripling's cloth yard shaft, his arms availed him not. And Loosed by Cupid's bow, had fell to Lancelot, fell to Lancelot. So look into this tale, me boys, and learn this lesson well. There be no man alive from Cupid's arrows can. So try not arms the fairy folk, the clothed in mortal guise. Behold the shafts of Cupid's bow.